Hi, right, what's up, people? This is Sifurian, and right now, you can just tell I'm excited, right? <laughs> I am finally able to sit down and watch this trailer. It's been out now for almost two days. I've been dodging it like crazy. Um, I think I might be one of the last people to react to it because it seems like everyone else is reacting to it. <sighs> it sucks, man. I'm having kind of technical issues at the moment with the old PC rig that I've been using for a while now. I won't go into it, but just trust me, it's why I've not been uploading anything recently. But I've also been building a brand new PC. I actually installed like the last few parts of it just the other day. Um, I'm going through the process of installing programs, putting all like my presets and everything in. And I'm also trying to sort this out for live streaming, you know, with this beautiful setup, uh, but live, like, Trust me, man, there's so much work going into like behind the scenes, like it's crazy. But I thought I'm gonna get this filmed. I don't know exactly when this is gonna go up. I think it might go up probably towards the end of the week, maybe Thursday or Friday. All depends on how well I can get um, Sony Vegas installed and all my plugins and everything. Anyway, we're gonna get into this Vikings season six, the official trailer. On the title, it says two hour season premiere airs December the 4th. Oh my god, man. Two hours. It's like a fucking movie. I want this to be good. Like, I, I want this final season just to... Just don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Don't don't drop the board just at like the last stretch, at the final hurdle. Don't fuck it up. Don't don't be like um, <clears throat> Game of Thrones. Um, <laughs> I got faith in Michael Hurst, man. Like last season when everyone else was talking shit, I still had faith in Michael Hurst. And, and the season ended on a fucking big ass note. We now have King Bjorn, like fucking Ivor lost his battle and, and he's fled. Like, like I'm pretty sure on like the last like teaser trailer, I said I think he was going to China or something, but it turns out he's going to be going to Russia, right? Floki, Floki went inside of the cave, he found that cross and then the um, volcano erupted and Floki, I, I really hope he hasn't died. I really hope like like it just kind of fell down around him and and he's slowly trying to like dig his way out in some way. But yeah, I'm trying to think of what else happened at the end. I don't know. I'm just so pumped to check this out. So Viking season six official trader. Let's do this, man. I know your reputation. Oh, and how many battles you have won? Oh, wow. But still, you have no idea what you are now facing. King Bjorn! <laughs> oh my god! People of Kattegat! I am but your humble servant. You are a great man, but even great men make mistakes. Just make you glad I'm not king. Badass I've word. seen enough of war. I've seen enough of death. It is time to elect a king who will defend us. A king for all Norway. And what better man than you, your lion's side? I hope that things will proceed smoothly. Do you know any reason why it should not? <laughs> I have decided to treat your arrival here as a sign. Ivor, the boneless. I have ordered the construction of a great fleet for the invasion of Scandinavia. And you can help me. Wow, okay. And be revenged upon your brothers. The Rus are coming. Search all you want. You won't find them. Like the fire. Wow. Seems the gods brought us together again, my brother. 
I must enjoy seeing us fight. Oh, fuck me. Can we watch it now, please? Can we watch it now? Please? Please? <laughs> Can we stop being dictates? Can we just watch it now? <laughs> Let's watch it again. Fuck. I know your reputation. This is badass, man. All hell King beyond. But still, you have no idea. There was a shot of, um, um, People Seagull, of not Seagull, fucking I am Pittsburgh. but your humble servant. Coming You're up. a great man. Okay, right. Um, the shot leading up to this, it looked like they've chucked out the guy who was loyal to Ivor. They've, they've chucked him out of a catacat. He popped up a few times in this, like, trailer. So I reckon he might be, like, a bit of a big player throughout, um... Even if it's just like the first half of season six. But I want to draw attention to this scene. Like Fixer, Fixer looks pretty rough at the minute. And I like... In the teaser at, at the end of season five, it looked like Fixer was kind of hanging up by rope. Like surrounded by fire. And he kind of looks like kind of the same way. So I'm thinking maybe... Maybe this is like a day or two before that scene. And then we saw the fire on, on the water later on and Flatnose was in the water, right? Even great men make mistakes. Just makes me glad I'm not king. I've seen enough of war. I've seen enough of death. Like, does he it come for Lagatha and that's why she's covered in blood? Because she's- king who ooh. will defend us. A king for all Norway. And what better man than you, your lion's side? I hope that things will proceed smoothly. Okay, can I just say that Uber looks so much better with the hair proper, without like little bits of hair dangling at the front? Okay, quick. <sighs> Howard Finehair, right? They were saying about how like Bjorn is going to be like the first king of all Norway. When historically, it's been said a few times now, like I've said it in like past reactions and stuff, that historically the first true king of all of Norway was Howard Finer. Now, are they going to stay true to actual historical facts? I don't know. Um, but I do know that, that Bjorn does become king of Sweden. History has been played around with before, like Ragnar and Rolo will historical characters. They weren't brothers. So I I don't know. I don't know like where this is gonna go, but I I, I got faith in Michael Hurst, man. I'm just saying. I hope that things will proceed smoothly. Do you know any reason why it should not? <laughs> I have decided to treat your arrival here as a sign. Ivor, the boneless. have ordered the construction of a great fleet for the invasion of Scandinavia. And you can help me. Okay, so instead of either like fleeing Katagat, looking for allies to help to attack, I guess he just fled with no intentions of coming back to like get revenge. Or okay, maybe he did have like intentions for revenge, but I'm saying like he might have got lucky by coming across these people who want to attack. See, now, I'm thinking, like, are these the same, like, people who was being attacked by Vikings before they started sailing west? Because, like, if you go back and you watch season one, like, even Ragnar said, like, all we do is sail to the east. I want to know what's to the west, you know? So, like, if they've been, like, sailing east and attacking east for many, many years, are these are the people who they were, like, attacking? And I guess in, like, the time period where they haven't been sailing east, They've built their forces, grown strong, and then they're, they're coming to attack now? Maybe? Construction of a great fleet for the invasion of Scandinavia. And you can help me. And be revenged upon your brothers. The Rus are coming. Looks so good. Oh, 
our country's in grave danger. Don't ever betray me. I'll be dear to my dog is I want to search for Floki. You can search all you want. Okay, you know what, right? Trying to pause it at the right spots via the Xbox like interface is a fucking nightmare. Um anyway, the the whole thing, like the, the quest, the search for Floki, is he still like trapped in the cave? Did he find his way out? Or has he just decided just just to go and disappear? And why is Uber now gonna try and find Floki? You know, is it because maybe well obviously Flat Nose has made it back to Katakat. Okay, okay, so I think what's happened, Floki got caught in the cave, and he's trapped in there. Flat nose he's proven now that he can't be trusted. He's he turned out to be a right fucking dick at the end of last season. So I think he's he's packed up his shit and said, Well, Floki's disappeared, not knowing that Floki's trapped in the cave. He's packed up his shit and said, You know what, fuck it, let's pack up our shit and go. So he took his family, they've gone back to Katakat and and they've gone back and Flat Nose is now telling people what's happened, that Floki went missing and Uber's gone to try and find him. But all the time that Uber's going to be off doing that, that's going to be him outside of the main war between, well, the brothers at war, you know what I mean? Bjorn and Ivor. It's funny how, like, this show pretty much kind of started with brothers at war, you know, with Ragnar and Rolo. Like, even just, like, the first few episodes, there was constant, like, tension there between them. Times when Rolo would look at Lagatha, like, like just... Straight from the start, you knew that there was something there. But now that we've got it, like, with the next generation, with Bjorn and, and Ivor, and a bit kind of strange how Bjorn is Rolo's, <laughs> Rolo's kid. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I think, like, if they were to release, like, a, a, a massive Vikings box set, like, Blu-ray box set of every single season... Like, the subtitle for that fucking collection could be Brothers at War. Because, <laughs> I mean, shit. I want to search for Floki. You can search all you want. You won't find them. Like the fly. See, this is it, look. Flat noses in the water. That's cool with them climbing up the rock. Seems the gods brought us together again, my brother. What the fuck is that? Two hours. Two hours. Fucking out. Fucking out. <laughs> oh my god, that's going to be so fucking good, isn't it? And it's uh, 20 episodes, right? The first 10 is going to be season 6A, what we're going to be getting 4th of December. That's going to go over Christmas and start of New Year. And then season 6B is going to be this time next year, right? Well, not this time next year, but like December of 2020 going into 2021. So technically, Vikings ends next year, right? Because there's 20 episodes. Um, but still, man, the final season, 20 more episodes. Oh, man. <laughs> I fucking love this show, I really do. It's so great to watch like so many other channels now doing it. Um, just, not gonna lie, it, it does feel good, you know, to know that I was, I was what, the first, technically. Um, it's cool, man. <laughs> okay, what I think is gonna happen, um, <sighs> like I said, as far as like the first true king of all of Norway, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I think Howard Finehair will become the king of all of Norway. And Bjorn might... I don't know. Some some type of Swedish temptation is going to come. Um, maybe like a princess. Maybe some new storyline. Because like they're not going to spend 20 episodes building up to one fucking battle. You know what I mean? So like I'm thinking like long term over 20 episodes... Going to the finale, I can see Howard Finehair sat on his throne as all, like true king of all of Norway. Um, Bjorn being king of Sweden. Like I said, there's going to be some type of temptation, some some new princess, like some new storyline that that's going to take Bjorn out of Katakat into Sweden, and he'll become king of Sweden. I can see Lagatha dying because if she don't, then it's like, come on, man, 
Come on, man. Like, her death, like, that episode, if it's done right, I think would be as kind of, like, a big moment like, like Ragnar's death. You know what I mean? I want to see, like, where's, where's Rolo? Um, I kind of hope that they do the actual, like, historical, well, the apparent historical way that Rolo went out. I don't know how true this is. This is just what I read somewhere. That apparently um, Rolo was a real person, of course, but yet, like, the way that this show has played out, the character was very accurate to how he came in, into power. Like, he married this um, French princess. He was given this piece of land, what was called Northman's Land, what is nowadays called Normandy. The real historical Rolo, before he died... Um, he realised that he made a mistake by becoming Christian and that he wasn't going to go to heaven. And so he decided just to kill people. He went around, like, killing people, chopping heads off. And he, he just kind of snapped and, and just went crazy as, like, an old man just killing people to, like, like, like show Odin that, that, that he made a mistake and to kind of earn his way into Valhalla. Like, <laughs> I kind of hope they do that. Just, like... Like, like, Princess Gisela has, has died, like, old age or something. And just, I just want to have a shot of just Rolo just sat there thinking about it and, and realising he's made a mistake. And he grabs his axe and just walks through the corridors of his kingdom, just taking fucking heads off, like... <laughs> trying to earn his way into Valhalla. That would be fucking cool. As far as Floki, like... I kind of hope Floki is, is still alive and... and he kind of lives on at the end of season six, but I don't know. I don't know, man. I've, I've got a bad feeling about Floki. I don't know, man. There's just so many fucking characters now, and Michael Hurst could take this show in any kind of direction at the minute. But, like, I kind of hope, even though I've got a feeling that, that we're not really going to get it, it's just wishful thinking, but it would be nice to have Ragnar come back. You know, the show started with him. It's only right that it ends with him. Like I said it when um, when we watched like the teaser at the end of season five, there should have been a shot of of like Floki walking into that cave, seeing the cross, and then in the shadows, in the background, Ragnar sat waiting for him. You know, look like Floki's having all these visions of, of the gods and everything. He should have a vision of Ragnar. Like Ragnar should come back and speak to him. You know, and they should have like <sighs> They should have had, like, a very deep conversation about religion. Kind of similar, like, how um, Ragnar, Ragnar had that conversation with King Egbert in Season 4. I think we should get something like that, where, where these two characters that we love so much sit down and just break it down. Or even if it's like, Floki has died. He's died in that cave. But you could do it in such a way where, like, Floki, like, he wakes up, he's pushing rocks off him, he, and he kind of gets up, he's still stuck in the cave, but Ragnar, he sat there waiting for him, and like, I'm just thinking, like, they could sit down, have a good, decent chat, and then at the end of the conversation, like, Ragnar has made Floki realise that he's kind of been wrong, um, and, and, and Floki has, like, this new kind of, like, like, oh, I want to get out of here, I, like, I want to put things right, I want to do the right thing, and Ragnar says, no, it, it's too late, you've died, and then the camera kind of pans down, and you see Floki, kind of crushed underneath the rocks, you know what I mean, and it's like, oh shit, we've been watching two ghosts talk this whole time, you know what I mean, like two spirits, I think that would be really, really cool, or just something, just, just some way to bring Ragnar back, just right at the end, because, like I said, the show started with him, it should end with him, you know, I don't know, man, um, okay, I've been rambling on for way too long, so I'm gonna end this, Try and get this edited as soon as I possibly can. Like I said, you'll see it as soon as I get things sorted. Um, hopefully it will be towards the end of this week. Maybe the weekend if things don't go well. But fingers crossed, man. So like, the sooner you see it, the sooner you know I'm getting things going. Um, but yeah, man. Give this video a thumb up if you like it. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't already, man. Alright? I've been Sif Furion, And I'll catch you in the next one, man.